Angelman syndrome is a genetic condition that can cause physical and learning disabilities. Angelman syndrome is rare and affects roughly 1 in 22,000 people, affecting males and females in equal numbers. Although symptoms can vary, Angelman syndrome commonly causes learning and speech difficulties, problems with balance and movement, disrupted sleep, intellectual disability and seizures. Other characteristics that may be associated with Angelman syndrome include frequent laughing and smiling, being easily overexcited and a fascination with water. The life expectancy of people with Angelman syndrome is normal. A child with Angelman syndrome will usually begin to show signs of delayed development at around 6 to 12 months old, such as being unable to sit unsupported or making babbling noises. Motor skills such as crawling may also be delayed. Feeding problems also appear during infancy due to difficulties with coordinating sucking and swallowing. Some children may develop a small head that is flat at the back. As they grow older, children with Angelman syndrome may only be able to say a few words or not be able to speak at all. With support and training, most children will be able to communicate using signs or gestures or by using tools such as picture boards or computers. By three years of age, 80% of people with Angelman syndrome have seizures. In young children, there can also be a delayed ability to walk and balance issues. Obesity and scoliosis may also develop as children age. Most of those with Angelman syndrome will require significant lifelong support. Angelman syndrome is a genetic disorder. It's caused by problems with a gene located on chromosome 15 called the UBE3A gene. You receive your pairs of genes from your parents, one copy from your mother and the other from your father. In general, cells use the information from both copies, but in a small number of genes, only one copy is active. The UBE3A gene is one of those examples where only the maternal copy, the one from the mother, is active. Most cases of Angelman syndrome occur because this maternal copy is missing or damaged. Angelman syndrome may be suspected based on examination, developmental delay and other signs and symptoms of the condition. However, a blood test and several genetic tests are needed to properly diagnose the condition. Currently, there is no cure for Angelman syndrome, but there are medications available to help control seizures, promote sleep, encourage continence or support with other symptoms. Physiotherapy Occupational, behavioural and speech therapies may also help people with Angelman syndrome better manage their condition. Collaborations between patient organisations, industry and academia have led to improved understanding of this important condition. With increased awareness and research into Angelman syndrome, there is hope for new treatments to enhance the lives of patients living with this condition in the future.